The Chief Medical Officer of Health of Ontario is uh, strongly recommending that people wear masks once again. This recommendation comes at a time when the province's uh, emergency uh, wards, especially children's emergency rooms, are operating at uh, 120, sometimes 140 percent capacity. They say there is a wave of illness that is sweeping uh, across the province that is uh, affecting uh, young patients. There are um, cases of the flu, obviously COVID, uh, as well as RSV circulating in the population. And this push is on to try to control that spread. Here's what some people had to say about this new strong recommendation to mask up. Up to the person, honestly, depending on how each individual feels about the mask, it shouldn't be a requirement anymore. I mean, you kind of got past COVID, there's other respiratory disease illnesses going around right now, so. What about you, sir? I feel just be smart. If you're not feeling well, one, don't go anywhere, and if you two, you have to put one on. You know, keep yourself safe, keep everybody else safe, right? Yeah, again, I think you should just be smart. Like, if you're again not feeling good, wear a mask, but if you're out in, like, outside, there's like so many other like flus and diseases out there that like it's not just about COVID. Um, keep yourself safe, like do what you need to be smart. I just don't think wearing a mask is gonna help that much. Do you wear a mask once in a while now or very rarely? Uh, very rarely, honestly. Now the wave of illness that is uh, sweeping through children's hospitals and leaving them really stretched and at capacity is not something just particular to Ontario. We ran into a general practitioner visiting from the UK who said that the same thing happened there, but there was a change. I think I'm cautious with him if there's someone coughing and things on the subway, I kind of move him up a bit because obviously he can't wear a mask and things um, but yeah I'm fully vaccinated as well so um, out, outside I don't worry about it inside yeah I think about it probably not in shops but on the the subway on public transport yes. At home I would wear one I wear one when I go shopping but here it seems to be very airy in the shops so I haven't actually worn one. Mm -hmm. I have had four jabs so and I've had COVID as well, so I kind of feel, and I don't have any health issues, so I feel okay about it. Mm -hmm. Now, as we uh, were walking through the downtown core, you can tell that a lot of people are still uh, obviously wearing masks, people coming off the uh, streetcar, uh, getting on the TTC. You can see that uh, a lot of people haven't given up that habit. Some people are not wearing masks. We spoke to one person who had COVID uh, in the last little while. Here's what she had to say. I think that people have forgotten a little bit that it's not about them all the time. If I get COVID, I'm okay. I get a little sick and I get better. But there are children's hospitals, there are nursing homes, uh, there are people who are immunocompromised, um, who it is a more difficult thing for and I try to slow down the spread by wearing the mask and taking, you know, getting vaccines and doing whatever precautions I can to help other people. Now this is not an official mask mandate, but according to the Chief Medical Officer of Health, there is a chance that we could move in that direction if the situation is warranted. Right now across the country there are roughly about 6,000, 6,100 people in hospitals across the country with COVID. Compare that to the first uh, two months of the pandemic, there were about 3,100 people. The question is, will the situation with, with hospitals get any worse? For the Toronto Sun, I'm Scott Lurie.